हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ अल्टीमेट होम ऑटोमेशन प्रोजेक्ट आफ्टर लर्निंग हाउ टू कंट्रोल अपलायसेज यूजिंग गूगल असिस्टेंट एंड मॉनिटरिंग सेंसर्स डेटा और इंटरनेट इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट नाउ वी विल लर्न हाउ टू ऑटोमेट आर स्पेस यूजिंग स्मार्ट सेंसर्स एंड ऑल्सो गेटिंग नोटिफिकेशन ऑन टू आर स्मार्टफोन वी विल ऑल्सो लर्न हाउ टू गेट नोटिफाइड वेन एवर सम वर्ड सीक्रेटली एंटर्स योर स्पेस and in the end i will let you know what's the use of the servo motor in this home automation project so let's get started if you haven't watched the first part of this video i will suggest you to watch out the first part as that part includes all the components required its circuit diagram introduction about mqtt ifttt etc So do watch that video as I'm not going to repeat everything in the video again. So let's start with this video. Now in this I will be explaining each concept with a different code. So let's just start with our first project which is on intrusion detection and getting real time notification onto our smartphone with date and time. For that the components required and then connections are something like this. After that I have ordered 10 of these PCBs from the website called jlcpcb.com a company that provides premium quality PCBs at a very reasonable price to order PCBs just go to jlcpcb.com and make an account here after making an account logging to that account after that click on quote now button here upload your gerber file that you have just downloaded select the number of PCBs then select the color of the masking you want for your pcb that's it complete the order by making the payment and wait for the pcbs to arrive at your doorstep give jlc pcb a try to make your projects look neat and well arranged for this project we will take the help of ifttt so let's just configure the applet first open ifttt app go to last menu and click on the plus sign to create a new applet click on this now this time we are using webhooks service now what webhooks do is it will provide us a link with a specific key and event name such that if the link is requested from anywhere through any device then the condition will be satisfied on ifttt and the particular action which will be defining will be performed afterwards so let's get back to ifttt Here after selecting web hooks click on receive a web request then click on connect now here you need to mention the event name first i will write motion you can give any random name here click on okay now click on that now for action i will click notifications as we want to get notifications whenever the link is requested Now click on send notification from ifttt app. Here the message is written by default. We can change it as per our application. In my case I will write motion detected in your lab at and will add the ingredient occurred at which will print time and date when the event was occurred. Click on next and finish. This is all you need to do on the ifttt side. Here PIR motion sensor is used to detect any motion in the lab. The code is written in such a way that as soon as any motion is detected, our ESP will request one link to webhooks and the condition will be satisfied on IFTTT website. And the action will be performed. In this project, the action is to send notification on a smartphone. So this is how our first project of this video which is intrusion detection and getting real time notification on our smartphone works. The code for this project is very simple. You just need to make some changes in basic http example code. We just need to request this link as soon as the PIR motion sensor is triggered. Now how to make the link? Now for that you need to go to this website. Make sure you are logged in to your ifttt account. Then go to documentations. Here you will get the link to be requested. We just need to add our event name which in my case is motion. After that this is the unique key which is different for different accounts. 
then you just need to copy this link from here and paste it inside our code. Just make it HTTP by removing as so that you don't need to add any signature. That's it. This is the code. Now let's just upload it. You can even get notification if you just request this link from our web browser. So make sure to keep this link private otherwise it will confuse you from where the link was requested. Moving on to our next project which is automation with smart notifications. For that we are just going to merge this code with our previous code which was on ultimate home automation and we'll just do a little change like turning on all appliances as soon as the PIR motion sensor is triggered. Here I will make another applet on IFTTT because I want to show a whole different message. So going to IFTTT application and doing the same process of creating a new applet. Click on this. Again webhook service. Click on receive a web request. We will give event name as motion underscore automation. Then here again changing the message. This time I will write welcome to the lab. I have turned on all the lights and fan for you. Ask Google if you want to switch off any appliances. Have a nice day. Click OK. Then finish. Now we will just copy the link to be requested from this website and we'll add our event name as motion underscore automation. Then copy and paste inside our code, removing S to make it HTTP. Great. So this was our second project on automation with smart notification. This code is also uploaded onto my GitHub account whose link is available in the description below. Moving on towards the third and the last project of this video. This was kept a bit suspense on how and why I have used this servo motor. So let's just reveal the secret and let you know where and how I use this in our project. This was the idea of Akshay Chawla to attach servo motor just near to the switch so that we can turn on and off appliances both through Google Assistant and manually which was quite innovative idea according to me. How you find this idea just let me know in the comments below. So let's just move towards the coding part of it. For that you need to include the servo.h library in this existing ultimate home automation code. Then we will add the subscription variable here whose name I have written as servo. And here I have included the feed name from the Adafruit.io website. Now if you want to know how to include the feed name then do watch the first part of this video. Then in the void setup you need to write servo space my servo and my servo dot attach into the bracket pin number which in our case is D8. Then we need to subscribe to servo topic. After that here we will just write my servo dot write into the bracket servo underscore state which is nothing but the data received from the server. Then I have written my servo.write into the bracket 70 after delay of 3 seconds just to bring back the servo into the home position. That said, this is all you need to make changes inside the code. Now moving on towards the Adafruit MQTT broker. Here you need to create a new element and for that click on this plus sign. Select the toggle button. We'll create a new field called servo and click on that. Now here the data which we need to send is 110 for on and 30 for off. These numbers I got by doing several experiments with the servo. This number will work for most of the switches and if not you can easily change them here. Click on create block. This is all you need to do on the Adafruit MQTT side. Now lastly you need to configure IFTTT app and for that Open IFTTT app, go to create new applet, click on this, go to Google Assistant, click on say a simple phrase. I will write turn on light 3. Then some optional statements and in the end response I will write as ok turning on light 3. Click next. Now click on that. Here for action I will select Adafruit IO. Selecting the servo feed. 
and will write 110 in the data to be sent. This is how the turning on applet will work. For turning off, we just need to write the data to be sent as 30. That's it. With all this, you can easily turn on and off the appliances using servo motor. So yeah, this is all about the second part of this ultimate home automation project. I hope you loved this project and if you love this, give a big thumbs up to this video. Subscribe my channel if you want to learn more about this IoT and automation related projects. So wait for my next project and till then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.